Hello guys, quick update. So uh, I made our LLM GPT-1 train four seconds faster. This is on this benchmark. This is the beginning of the training of GPT-1. And then uh, we have other benchmarks. And then at the end, so this is more and more training. And at the end we have the whole GPT-1 training. It was two and a half hours. I think right now we could do it faster, but I didn't measure yet. But if I go here to the ReLU bench, uh, here we actually have even another record, which is even higher. So here we replaced SWIGLU with ReLU squared. And it trains even faster, so I need to test it on uh, this. You see here we also have this record. This is for the hyperparameter search, the first one. And you see how much faster it is. So I imagine that this would be even very fast. This is the full training of GPT-1. But this third record, I did not apply yet to this training because, because this, is, this takes about six minutes. Uh, this, is, this takes about one and a half, two minutes because this is faster. So we can do this faster, find out which architectures are good and then train for longer. I'm gonna add even uh, more checkpoints and then at the end it's the full training of GPT-1. We wanna speed run this. And then we wanna train GPT-2, 3, 4, 5. I think it's it's way easier than people think. GPT Making GPT-5 is actually way easier than people think. Because it seems like this can only be done by these big labs, but in reality, if we just sit down and research, we will get there, we will get there. But first I wanna tr uh, make the GPT-1 train a lot faster than two and a half hours. And then we go to GPT-2, which is gonna be around 10 times this. And major issue I solve today is reproducibility. So you see here how I run this same record and every time it's same, one second up down. But before, uh, like I had some uh, kernel warming up issues. Sometimes it counted kernel warming up time, sometimes it didn't. So the times were very different, but now it's same. So now we can actually start measuring records and that's, and then <coughs> I wanna add multiple benchmarks because the idea is, well, this is all GPT-1 for now, but the idea is we first test on quick experiments and then we just extend the same thing to a bit longer training and then a bit longer, longer, longer and then full training of GPT-1. Later, we will just do GPT-2, which is just gonna be uh, 10 billion tokens instead of 1 billion tokens. And that's GPT-2. Uh, we have we don't need to worry about data for now. We have a good open source. Uh, maybe at GPT-3, 4, we will have to worry more about data. Also, I'm, I'm, I feel a bit sorry because last time I, I was a bit too mad for this uh, a pull request because there is you know there is a lot of text here but it's okay it's not that bad uh, we'll read it I just told the person to uh, write a bit le less text because it's AI generated I would recommend you guys never write AI generated text when you are explaining like your research it uh, doesn't seem good it's not good it will be a lot better if you write it but I shouldn't I'm not gonna be angry about it anymore it does have a lot of good uh, suggestions, ideas. I'm gonna add these ideas one by one. We need to research one by one separately, isolate and see which ones improve. Also seems like this uh, Polar Express Muon also improves the loss. Uh, I'm gonna look into that as well. I just want to thank Novita AI for giving us free compute. If you use my link below, they will give us even more, but there are other uh, GPU provider options like Google Colab is free, Salad is very cheap for these GPUs, etc. So you can choose whichever you want. And then we have another pull request, Turbo Muon. Uh, this could also improve. I didn't look too much into this one. So if you want to contribute, uh, I, so you, you just come here, you can clone. Uh, then you can just tell your AI to set it up or you can, you can just read here in documents, there is setup instructions. So you just need to install uh, re requirements and you need to download the data set and I recommend you download this exact data set that's written here so you just run this command copy paste this if you download my own data set that I uploaded at my um, that's specifically for this repository and when I'm uh, measuring I'm gonna measure on this exact data set always same data set so we just want to measure 
the algorithm so hardware and data set will be same for me when i measure it but you can research on different data and hardware uh, and it will usually i think it will always uh, also be better on this data set most of the time but different data sets do require a bit of different like would react differently to different architectures of the llm so you may then just run this train llm uh, this will train until 4.5 loss if you go inside uh, there is this tag here that says how much loss target train loss if you say 4.5 it will stop at 4.5 this is one of our benchmarks another benchmark is 3.5 so get to 3.5 as quickly as possible but if you just python uh, this then it will do the 4.5 that's default and then i re recommend you go to utils and you just uh, test training reproducibility so you need to like run your experiment this will run three times your experiment and this is the target loss and each time it should be like same time which means that there is no bugs it's not like different times each time you run this is the same thing running so it's gonna be the same but maybe i will do this maybe you don't need to do this actually what you need to do is just measure the baseline if you're working on different hardware because if you are working on a 1490 GPU, then you can just use my baseline here. Although it's good that you also train it to see if you get the same baseline. And then make sure your changes um, improve the uh, code. But if you don't have GPUs, that's not a problem. You can just submit your code here anyways. And then because I will have to go through these codes uh, anyways. And then I'm going to have to reduce a little bit. And I will tag people. If we end up using this, I will tag people who uh, wrote it. By the way, if you're making a um, pull request, you can also leave your X account or LinkedIn or GitHub that you want me to credit. If we end up using uh, the code, I would like to credit everybody who makes pull request, but uh, that's not, it's going to be too cluttered. So uh, we, we will have to just credit people like whose code we end up using. But I'm sure if you spend like a couple of hours, uh, you uh, do some work, we will end up using uh, your code. If you, especially if you go to non modded nano GPT, and there is a lot of like good uh, LLM pre training improvements. So you just uh, pick some, explain a, a bit, uh, and then commit some code. I am pretty sure uh, it will yield good results. But anyways, uh, science is not a quick thing overnight, quick and easy. Uh, usually, like, science is something you do either your whole life or your whole life in your free time or for a long time. So it's not something you just... You don't have a mindset that you just come, like, for 10 minutes and then you're going to be successful and credited and all this stuff. In discussions, you can start uh, discussions. So... I like uh, this new discussion here. I don't know, uh, I think I know least about hardware compared to large language model architecture, but I'm learning, I'm gonna learn uh, how to write kernels and all this stuff, you can join in. Also, here I have a code features backlog. This is for some good pull requests or good code that we will not use for certain reasons. For example, here uh, this person added Docker, but uh, as I said, we don't want, we will only add stuff. We want to add as little stuff as possible. So if uh, people start having problems with versions and stuff, then we will add Docker to solve those problems. But uh, we will not necessarily just add everything, uh, everything like from, because it's all cluttering, it's creating bloat, it's just adding more code, it's getting more complicated. So, uh, but I will save these good features here. Or later and people uh, will be credited who make them but our main goal is to get the pre-training speed as fast as possible uh, without adding too much code so I mean if you have to add code then you have to but uh, just that's our main goal so that's why adding docker is kind of falls outside of that Join my school to become AI researcher. You have all of the beginner classes here and community, and uh, we have live calls as well. So you can learn everything step by step here.
link below the video thank you for watching and see you next time maybe tomorrow i will not have time to do the video but i have such good ideas we're gonna in, uh, speed run this gpt1 so fast and then gpt2 and then gpt3 3 is gonna be interesting when we are recreating gpt3 but all of the research we do now will be applied to gpt3 as well so right now we are creating all of the gpts at the same time by doing this research see you next time goodbye